Hello, my name is Rupa Srinivasan. I am the first author of a paper titled The Adaptation of the Measure of Processes of Care for the Evaluation of Family-Centeredness of Services in India. Uh, before we begin to talk about the adaptation process, let's spend a few minutes to talk about family-centered services um, and specifically how it is, uh, what the current status is in the Indian context. Family-centered services recognize that caregivers are experts on their child's life, that they recognize their child's abilities and needs the best. It comprises of five principles, respectful care, enabling partnership, providing general information, providing specific information, and comprehensive and coordinated care. Family-centered services are known to positively influence outcomes for children with disabilities, parental well-being and sense of competence and satisfaction with services. Despite being recognized as a best practice approach, it is known to be poorly implemented worldwide. Specifically in the Indian context, India is known to have one of the highest numbers of children with disabilities in the world. And despite this, the existing services continue to be underutilized, even though services are scarce relative to the magnitude of the need. Caregivers are known to value provider behaviors which are in keeping with family-centered service principles. And we know this because of studies which have been done in the NICU and community settings. Very few studies in disability services have examined family-centered services or the extent to which it is practiced. And it has not been formally evaluated with the help of a quantitative measure before. There are clear advantages to using uh, an instrument. The use of an instrument is known to promote reflection, knowledge transfer, and quality improvement of programs and facilities. And in that regard, the MPOC 20 is a widely used instrument worldwide, and it has also been used in low and middle income countries. However, the MPOC 20 has not been validated for use in India before. So with this, the objectives of our study were to adapt the tool in Hindi, which is a language that's widely spoken, and to evaluate caregiver perceptions about family-centeredness of services within a large not-for-profit center providing services to children with disabilities. So our study design was cross-sectional observational. We recruited caregivers of children between zero to 18 years of age with various developmental disabilities. These were caregivers who could read and understand Hindi, who received at least one service on two occasions in the six month period prior to data collection. The measure was translated into Hindi and back translated into English in keeping with the WHO guidelines and assistance was offered to caregivers who needed it. Now, out of the 170 eligible caregivers, we included 141. Uh, these caregivers, uh, out of these caregivers, 66% of them had male children. 51% of them had children with autism. 58.4% of the caregivers had completed high school education or more. One third of them earned less than minimum wage and nearly 60% of the children were receiving services for at least two years. Now we established content validity and specifically comprehensibility of the tool and found that 48% of the caregivers could complete it independently in our sample and 51% of them needed assistance. We established structural validity for the tool and found that the internal consistency was adequate. The median scale scores were found to be above six for a maximum of seven on three out of four scales. And it was found to be five, uh, an area of relative challenge on providing in general information. So the key highlights of the study were that this is the first study to adapt uh, and validate the use of MPOC 20 in a non-hospital setting within a low and middle income country. Further, the Hindi adaptation of the MPOC 20 reveals that uh, this version is very similar to the original English version. There is only a difference in the factor structure which could be attributed to the difference in the cultural context. The other interesting finding was that despite the high education levels of the caregivers in our sample, this tool could not be used by them as a self-administered measure. The median scale scores in our study were found to be higher than those reported previously. And the organizational commitment to family-centered services uh, was hypothesized to be responsible for the same. 
uh, the uh, lower scores were found to be uh, present in providing general information, which is a consistent finding in literature. And lower internal consistency scores were found for the scale providing specific information amongst the subset of caregivers whose literacy levels was low and who needed assistance in completing the MPOC 20. The strength of our study is that we included children with different disabilities and those who were receiving varied services. Uh, we were able to collect data from within a population that would have been unable to use the Hindi MPOC 20 as a self-administered form because of the modifications in administration that we were able to do. Uh, the limitations were that our sample and the services provided at our center were not representative of what's available um, in the broader uh, country. Content validity could not be fully established and we couldn't rule out reporting bias. So in conclusion, in India and in other low and middle income countries, it is important to consider alternative ways of administering the MPOC 20 in addition to self-administration as a, as a method. Further, the availability of a tool like the Hindi MPOC 20 in India is the first but important step towards having a shared understanding of what family-centered services and evaluating its implementation across many parts of the country. Thank you so much for the patient listening.